tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. And I've been wanting to do a lot more of these talks. Because there's not a lot of trans men who are out there and actually talking about things. Yeah. Yes. Um, it, you always see trans women it's doing It's not things. much of a big deal because they don't really... I don't think they fully understand it, so they don't make a big deal out of it. Ganon. Pero when ano, somehow it's a, it's still ano, it's still sad because you're like you're surrounded by people that don't fully understand you. Parang they're just there. They they tolerate your existence, but I don't think they deeply understand your ano where you're coming from or your story. Or your identity so they're just there they just look at you and they're just they just feel like i know like you're any other gay person out there Ganun. being trans should never hinder you from pursuing what you want it never did for me um you know we may have very different we may have very different um, backgrounds in terms of your support your community or the community where you where you where you interact pero it should never be a hindrance um tapos na tayo dun sa tapos na tayo dun sa sense na kailangan overachievers para i-compensate yung pagiging part mo ng LGBTQI yeah. tapos na tayo dun. once you're once you actually put or do really really good work great work your the way that you, you identify will not even be secondary people will not even bat an eyelash and i know this for a fact because yes blood sweat and tears like i'm 11 years into practice there's been blood there's been sweat there's been tears there's been nights that you don't sleep because you need to get you know you need to get to point a to point b to point c to point b all in one day you need to juggle four jobs in one day you know that's fine but it never was it should never really be that's part of the job the money everybody even cisgendered people have to go through that if they want to be at the top of their game they have to go through that nagkataon lang na trans ako did i ever use my, my me being trans as an excuse yes at one point because i really didn't know what to do anymore but after like after somebody spoke to me about it and told me like why are you making why are you using that an, as an, an an excuse and why are you telling yourself that you should actually celebrate it because after everybody else doubting you that you will not and telling you you will not make a name for yourself because you're trans nobody's gonna hire you because you're trans everybody's just going to think that you're gonna molest girls because you're trans it's like hello you're here you're at the top of your game you're helping a whole lot more other people you know and it should never be it, never like should tapos na nga tayo dun sa overachiever ko okay top ako ng ganito ano CEO ako kasi nga but eh kasi kaya siya CEO kasi sobrang galing nga eh bading naman siya eh ano ngayon kung bading siya eh ano ngayon kung trans siya eh ano yun kung trans woman siya attorney naman siya how many attorneys do you how many how many people have tried to take the bar exam and actually not pass and here we have a trans woman a sister who's actually passed it you know and she's there she's beautiful she's there she knows what she's doing you know that's true yes starting off with her in her career and mind you watch her space she's gonna create a whole lot more and she's gonna she's gonna be a trailblazer we have Kino who's a lawyer for how many years did it did him being uh, him being gay did it stop him from being a lawyer from passing the board exam or the bar exam it, no? it shouldn't stop you from pursuing your dreams your pa- what you're passionate Talaga. about because I was thinking kasi na if I didn't become someone or a professional especially as a lawyer but I felt like I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be treated fairly or at par with everyone else so I had to Parang I had to achieve this para to achieve a certain level of parang respect like what everyone gets so that's 
I'm, that's my main thrust talaga while ano pursuing the profession. At the same time, I was I wasn't just thinking of myself. I was thinking of bringing the entire community with me because I knew na pag matapos ko to at pag naging lawyer ako, people will immediate immediately think na we are also we are capable of you know achieving these or attaining professions like this that were conventionally especially the law profession no? historically it's male dominated so parang ano it's something that I really wanted to challenge myself and at the same time bring the community with me now we can do this ayon so another thing then is ayon pag nan pag nakuha ko na yung license as a lawyer, I have a bigger voice, I have a bigger platform and influence in sharing ano, in sharing my advocacy, It's a it's a weapon talaga to ano para ma-share yung advocacy ko and ma-push through siya. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.